welcome. This is Dr. Amanda Rockinson's app QN. In this tutorial, we are going to use SPSS to evaluate the assumption of multivariate outliers. Multivariate outliers can be described as data points that have a combination of values on the dependent variables. Multivariate outliers can be assessed through a variety of methods. However, I usually use SPSS to calculate a measure called Mala-Holonopus distance. Calculating a Mala-Holonopus distance is conducted as part of a multiple regression analysis in SPSS, and it is the regression procedure that we will use to calculate Mala-Holonopus distance. Each case you'll see once calculated will have a Mala-Holonopus distance value that we'll assess. In order to um, perform this procedure, you, we need to click on Analyze, Regression, and then Linear. Here we're presented with the Linear Regression dialog box. We're going to click Type of Program and use the arrow button here to move it over to the Dependent box. Next, we are going to move our dependent variables, learning and connectedness, or um, learning community and connectedness, over to the independence box. So here I'm going to click on community learning, and I'm going to use the arrow button to move it into the independence box, and then I'm going to do the same with connectedness. Next I'm going to click the save button, and here in the distance area or distance section, I'm going to tick Mala Holonopus so that SPSS will run this analysis. I'm going to click continue, and then I'm going to be returned back to the linear regression dialog box, and I'm going to click OK. Now SPSS quickly here generated our output. There's a lot of information that SPSS calculated for the regression, but what we're really interested in is Malahalanopus distance. So I'm not really interested in the output, so I'm going to minimize the output here. What I'm interested in here, in here is this column um, in my data file called MAH1 which are the calculated Mala-Holonopus distance value for each of our cases. To determine whether or not there are multivariate outliers in our data, we need to look at this column. Now, the larger the value of Mala-Holonopus distance, the more unusual the data points are. So the larger numbers listed here, for example, the six, is a more unusual point than, let's say, the twos listed here. Um, we can actually sort, or we can actually find our largest value by using the sort function. Here we click on MAH, we um, right click on MAH1, and we're given the option, as you can see, to sort ascending or descending. And we're going to go ahead and assort descending. Now, here we can see that this, the highest value in this data set is 6.72826. In order to understand whether or not this is of concern, we need to compare the value against the chi-square distribution with the degrees of freedom equal to the number of dependent variables and the alpha level of 0 0.001. Now, all that means is there uh, many statistics books have charts or tables um, to determine critical values. If you look in a statistics book, the table provides a cutoff value for Malaholonopus distance for an alpha level of 0 0.001 for do two dependent variables. It provides the critical value of 13.82. That means that we're the what we're hoping is that our data set does not have a critical or does not have a Malaholonopus distance value above 13.82. Since our highest value in this data set is 6.72826, which is less than 13.82, we can conclude that the assumption of multivariate outliers is tenable. We have not violated it. 